Doggy Pugs and YT presents the true identity of the insolent master. Oh boy. I can't believe what just happened today. I don't even know why I'm sucked into the couch. After all the stuff that happened today, I'm kind of tired. Even though it's the little, like, morning. Still. So we we'll just, like, take a little nap, like, while getting sucked into the couch. Me, 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 me. Oh boy, the last pizza. Who could that be? I was about to eat the last pizza slice. Okay, I'll just go open the door and make sure n no one eats the last pizza slice because I want to eat it. What the? A dinosaur? Aren't dinosaurs like, extinct? Babe. Damn, I can't believe like we left the, our old couch like up here. But now I'm gonna have to clean up the. Um, attic. <sighs> huh? What in God's name is that? Oh my God. Don't worry, baby, I'm coming. But I don't feel like to go all the way downstairs. Ah, do Oh, that was stupid. Hmm. Hmm. Enjoy this nightmare. Huh? Wait, where the hell am I? Is this a dream or a nightmare? And why is there portals around me? That's because this is a nightmare. What the? Who said that? Show yourself! Why, hello there, Georgie. What the hell? Who, who are you? Oh, how rude of me. I didn't even introduce myself. My name is T.I.O. A.K.A. The Insolence Overseer. I'm the one who made the insolence infection. And I hired my little friend, Mr. Stitchy, to infect everyone and give all of them the insolence eyes. He wasn't even mad to Puggy when Puggy put Mr. Stitchy into that portal. I just told him to make up a story so everyone can believe it. And it worked. I also created some minions for Mr. Stitchy so he could be more powerful and we can take over the world. And every single animal and being in the world will be our minions. I'm also the one who made your nightmares. Wait, what do you mean by that? Hmm, confused. Here, let me show you. What the? Wait, this is the distorted memory. My nightmare. Yes, correct. I'm the one who made your nightmare. The distorted memory. I also put memory into this place to see if you died in your dream and died in real life. But it seems like that failed. See? Look in the kitchen. Huh? Ah! Wait, that's me getting chased by memory. Yes, we know, Georgie. And this is when you were trying to find your sister and escape the house from memory. Besides, they won't be able to see us because we're invisible to them. And they won't even hear us talk either. But say, do you remember this? <gasps> this is the mall! Yep. The place you were trying to hide from the infected, it was found later by Puggy and Sizzy. How about this? It's... it's the safe place. Our old home when we were hiding from the infected. And then Willow and the TSP members ruined it. Correct again, Georgie. These are all the places you've been and I'm showing you. And what about this one? It's the outpost. The place where I followed Puggy, Sizzy, and Pony. And then some soldiers followed me. And then I went into the plant with Puggy to, like, stop Mr. P once and for all. Bingo. Now I want to show you one more thing that I'm really impressed of. And what is that? This. No. The plant. Where I tried to hurt Mr. P because I thought he hurted my family. You see, Georgie, this is the part that I'm impressed of you. Where you tried to hurt Mr. P for hurting your family. Here, watch. You hurted my family, Mr. P. Now, 
I'm going to hurt you. Oh no, no, what have I done? Me, stop! I was making a big mistake! Listen, George G. Like I said, people from the past can't hear us now. Because we're invisible, can't talk to them. Now let's get back. Wait, no! Me! Please stop! Ah! No, 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 no! Listen, Georgie, right when I saw you about to hurt Mr. P, I was quite impressed of your actions. And I think it's the perfect job for you to kill all your friends, and especially your family. What the? No, I would never do that! Friends and family are important in my life. Family? Not now, Don Toretto. If I lost my friends and family, I would just be all alone and sad. I almost made an accident back at the plant where I was about to hurt Mr. P. After Puggy said it wouldn't make the pain go away, I knew I would trust him. And then I didn't hurt him. I don't even know what's wrong with you, but this needs to end now. Me, my friends, and my family are gonna find a way to end this insolent infection once and for all. And you will get out of my nightmares. I need to find a way to wake up somehow. <laughs> Listen, Georgie. Either you do the job or else you'll be hearing your last words. No, I don't care where you're trying to me. I don't care if you're trying to make me do that. I promise me. I will never. You ain't the boss of me. You ain't even my dad or mom. <sighs> you know what? Fine then. Have it your way. Besides, someone's waiting for you when you're about to wake up. Now go. You can wake up now. But promise me, I'll be back. And once I do, you will never, and I mean ever, see your friends and family again. Especially Puggy. Now get out of my sight for now, peasant! <laughs> Who even was that guy? And what did he mean by someone was waiting for me when I was about to wake up? Hello, Georgie. What the? Oh, fuck. Master was right. Someone was waiting for you when you wake up, and that's. You won't get away with this. Oh, trust me. I will touch it and show it my master too. Good, he knocked out. I'm gonna have to bring him to master. Meanwhile with others. Man, there's nothing even to do. There's not even phones in like this universe, and no TVs, like no electronics for some reason. So I can't do anything. Ring ring, your phone is ringing, enter it now. Huh, who's calling me? But wait, didn't I say there's no electronics in this universe? Hello? Hello, Puggy. Um, who is this, and do I know you, and how do you know my name? Are you spying on me? Are you a stalker? Because if you are, I'm calling the police. No, no! Listen, do you remember Georgie? Oh yeah, that kid I was trying to find, like, in the infection. But thank God that's over. But do you remember the insolence? Oh damn, I remember. But at least we stopped it. Well, they are back. I'm sorry, what? Yep, and it seems like they captured Georgie. I'm sorry, what? Yep, you heard me correctly. And besides, I'm actually the insolence master. The person who made the whole insolence virus. Th what did you do to Georgie? Is he okay? Oh yeah, he is okay. For now. Wait, what do you mean for now? Listen, meet me at this place. He sent you an image. That looks like a random place. But I want to save Georgie. Here is the address too. Don't be late. Or else Georgie get it. <laughs> he hanged up, you idiot! Oh my god. I gotta go tell the others about this. To be continued. Thank you guys so much for watching this brand new piggy short. What do you think will happen next? Find out next time. On the beginning to the end. Looks like Georgie has been captured. And Puggy is about to tell the others about this. What do you think's gonna happen? Will they save Georgie? Or will they fail and become and become one of them? Well, you're gonna have to find out next time, like I said. The finale of the Piggy Shorts is gonna come out when Piggy Book 2 ends. You might have to wait for a long time for that Piggy Short to come out. Anyways, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.